Okay guys, so today I want to talk about a principle okay, that came up in a few videos. Uh, I just want to make sure that everybody has this concept nailed down before we move into more advanced concepts. Uh, the principle is called scarcity, okay, and it's, it's a really key concept in, uh, in the world of economics, so I want to make sure that you have a, a solid understanding. Basically, this is the opposite okay, of abundance. refers to the fact that there's a limited a limited amount of resources at our disposal now these limits this limit of resources forces us to make choices okay now we make these choices and I'll get to this in more advanced videos and and uh, later videos and in more intermediate microeconomic theory but we make them based on our preferences okay but more primarily uh, we make them within our resource limitations Resource limitations could refer to time, could refer to money, could refer to speed, could uh, space, okay, um, time, right, like uh, how much time you're going to spend on studying as opposed to leisure, how much money you're going to spend on leisure as opposed to saving, right? speed as in how fast can we produce stuff in a firm maybe if you were thinking about it from a business perspective how fast can you produce how many units space right how many units can we store in inventory right can we stock up if, if there's a good deal Okay, all these re resource limitations, okay, driven by these resources being scarce. Okay, for instance, uh, let's just take the concept of a day. In a day, you have 24 hours, right? For most of us, spend eight of that working. Spend another seven, eight, maybe, sleeping. Right there, that's 16, that's two thirds of your day. Okay, we might spend, I don't know, two in transportation. Some people this might be greater, some people less if you can bike or walk to work. Right, so that's already 18 hours right there. We we'll probably spend about two hours eating. Right, about a half hour for breakfast, half hour for lunch, and then another hour for supper or so. That gives us 20 hours, so now we have four left for leisure. If you only work one job. So we can see here that our resource of time, okay, 24 hours, because it's limited, it produces this scarcity, scarcity effect here. We only have four left over for leisure. Um, if we had an abundance, if this was unlimited, right there would be no weight there would be no meaning to this four hours we could just we could just say oh, well we have as much time as we want so we could have eight hours of leisure there would be no loss there would be no pressure and this pressure is basically what we mean by scarcity this pressure enforced on us by the fact that the resource is limited so I hope that this video helped um, kind of clear up the issue of scarcity. If you have any comments, uh, feel free to leave them below. Uh, if you want to email me uh, for future uh, topics you want me to cover, uh, feel free. And if you found this helpful, uh, hit the like button. Thanks a lot.